Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening wherever you be. Welcome back. It is Bmax Academy calling you. As I have met you a couple of days ago, I told you this is going to be a set of 10 videos we are going for we are giving for the benefit of our external students. Many students have told aspirants of OET have for informed us their writing is very difficult. They get good score for all the other modules or subtests, but when it comes uh, to writing, there is a um, very very uh, uh, low. Where we are, we are introducing a new means by you can score the best. That is 450 plus. Now we are going to call this series "Writing Made Easy." Day number two. Uh, here in writing, OET, they are not assessing. All of you are medical professionals. We are not testing your medical knowledge. Instead, it is your language that is tested. So, from the next week onwards, we are going to um, focus on the assessment criteria. It is based on which you are awarded. and not based on your medical knowledge maybe uh, your uh, uh, examiners are non medical people so it is not your medical knowledge that is tested here although you are medical professionals so what uh, today we are going to focus on articles a uh, article is not one of the assessment criteria but uh, then why we are doing it because a article is the most important uh, uh, item which comes not only in writing but in all lrw yes therefore we thought of introducing first article and from third onwards we will go for assessment criteria in depth at length and breadth so today we are going to focus on use and abuse of articles articles you know you have studied in your small classes that is a and the that's what we are going to do now why article because now here uh, oet unlike other english tests like uh, ielts or toefl is a mixture of language and medical proficiency that is the difference between oet and others so here you have uh, both language and medical profession you have to use certain language that only uh, for example nurses use or doctors use or physiotherapists use so it is a mixer and a competence not only in english but uh, in uh, your uh, uh, healthcare professional is also mandatory to Uh, balance the curvature in the meantime researchers reveal large large number of candidate retake oet either due to the writing subtest or reading subtest so it is safe to assume that reading and writing are the most difficult uh, compared to uh, speaking and listening however Uh, the one area uh, of language which is common for all uh, is excruciatingly hard is the use of articles that is the reason why we have taken article as a first area uh, before we embark on uh, artic- uh, articles uh, it is imperative that you must have a basic knowledge about nouns what is a noun so let us first look at nouns later we will go for articles what is a noun you have studied in your uh, uh, class in your primary 
or uh, in your uh, uh, primary class noun is a word is a naming word that names a person place or thing or a bird or animal or any name is a noun and we use article a and or the use or do not use before so articles are you can say a kind of adjectives because they uh, tell they have relation to the noun the nouns there are four type principally speaking that is a general name a common noun common noun then a proper noun then collective noun material noun all these four are called a concrete nouns and then uh, there is one that tells a emotion feelings so there are they are called a concrete noun so nouns are two type concrete nouns and uh, and uh, abstract nouns abstract nouns are the emotions or feelings there are plenty love sympathy pity mercy kindness arrogance wickedness vices honesty or let us go on innumerable now that is one classification of noun which is not that important however you can say nouns principally fall in two type according to the number that is called singular and plural now uh, singular and plural that is one classification other is countable and uncountable what is singular singular means one for example when i say um, computer computer that you can count it and uh, you know that is one unit but in more than one you can say computers you can add yes add yes boy boys teacher teachers doctor doctors they can be counted and therefore they fall as counter countable noun and those countable nouns can be made uh, uh, plural however there is a second type uncountable they cannot be noun that can for example you say your water water you cannot count time for example hours can be counted one hour two hour hours three hours or now or you can say grain that they are ordinary but in the healthcare sector you can pain can you pain you cannot count the pain like water or you can say oh there is interesting operation operation you can count one operation two operations three operations but when it comes to the latin word surgery uncountable so a, a deep knowledge a good knowledge about uh, the um, countable uncountable is essential when you go for doing it now here i have given a list of the countable nouns we are countable for example abscess so you can make it plural abscesses or accountant these are the only i have given a full list of it i want you to study them or if you can make a on a drawing sheet you uh, write them and stick it on the wall where you can see uh, every day accountant appointment uh, she took an appointment an appointment or appointments consecutive a uh, cavity or check up check up one check up next check up sir complaint complaint sir plural condition conditions so another deposit deposits doctor that you know doctors episodes of attack episode an episode episodes of attack examination initial examination and further examination and examination so and then gum that is a <coughs> interesting word gum that is countable gum so now these are slightly difficult for us to understand because that is the usage of english and parasite you know lip uh, upper lip lower lip lips uh. then investigation investigate investigation sir a full blood examination investigation and then other in both investigations uh. review reviews 
sensation, sensation, social worker, very important word for writing. And again, test, two tests were done and visits, uh, he made a, a home visit and several home visits. So these are countable nouns, uh, make a thorough with them. Some of them you know, others are slightly difficult to imagine. They are countable nouns. You must have a thorough knowledge about this one.